Hi, this is Maria from Vancouver, Canada, and today I will be performing a full, complete nourishing massage and also called Swedish massage. This facial will be done on the face, neck, and decollete. It takes approximately between 20 to 22 minutes, depending of the speed of the movements. But for time's sake, instead of doing three of each movement, I will be doing only one, but you will see the full, complete process and procedure of this uh, facial. The client is fully ready. So here we go. We have done the complete facial, whatever the client needed. And now the, the nourishing massage is done at the end, just before the mask. So if you've done machinery or peeling or scrubs or uh, glycolic acid, everything is done before you apply the night cream and the oil. On her face right now, she's fully prepared. I have applied the night cream underneath. I allowed it to absorb. And on top there is a light oil. And this oil, please be very careful, there is not any form of baby oil, mineral oil. It has to be a natural oil. Okay, so let's proceed. And I will tell you as we go along all the movements, I start with tapotment. And there's there's going to be three and the tapotment is done very slowly but there's high frequency so for each movement it's going to be three right on the jawline and then around the neck in a circle and then nice pressure on the décolleté and around the shoulders and we go up to the forehead a little bit of pressure Florage is done very slowly. One, two, and three. Done very slowly, draining. That's done three times. Circles around the eyes, done three times. But I'm just going to do a couple. Pressure in the inner corner. With my ring finger, I come around. Pressure, pressure, pressure and that is done three times three to six times now around again I'm gonna do it again one two three now we go backwards one two three so I'm putting pressure right inside the inner corner to open the sinuses and drain around one two three and you do this three to six times. Now with the middle finger, you go around and you do this six times, very slowly, but we're just gonna do a couple of times. The next movement. The pommet. The pommet is very important here. You stimulate the tissues, stretch the skin gently, figure eight. You do this three times. Let's go over the other side. And that is done also three times. While I'm on this side, I do the double circle. Six times. And then we come over this side and it's done very very slowly pressure and this is done also six times press it inside in the corner effleurage very slowly around and we go to the point and the deployment is done for six times right onto the cheekbone, really close to the eyes without touching the eyeballs. Pressure. And it's very close to the eyes. Done very slowly. Pressure point. Go to the nose. One, two, three. Be very careful when you do this that you don't put too much pressure on the nostril because it doesn't feel good. One, two. And 
whatever you're doing with the, the right hand, the, the left hand does the same. Now we're doing the scissors, slight pinch, and then three, and then drain to the lymph nodes. That's done three times. And you go down a little bit. One, two, three, and then drain. That's done also three times. One, two, three, and then drain. This is also done three times. Slide over the chin, your index and middle finger. You drain all the way down to the lymph node. Let's try that again. Down, around like this. Very, very slowly. That's done again six times. This deportment is done a little bit harder because now we want to stimulate the blood circulation. And as you notice, I'm not going very fast across the face but the frequency of my fingers are really high. And each movement is done six times. The neck, circle. Now if she's ticklish, don't do this. Down to the decollete, around, and up we go. Now we do the fan, up, side, rotate. Drain, rotate. And you do this six to 12 times. If she needs it, even more. Now we do tapping on one side. Of course, you're doing on the jawline and up the cheek, down to the jawline. And if, if she is soft or she need extra, do a little bit more. And now we're going over the other side. with again the fan a couple more quite a bit of pressure right onto the jawline so it goes one two three one two three like this up side now since my fingers like this now this is a time of the kneading three and then drain three times so this is done above the cheekbone now we go below the cheekbone one two three and drain three times one two three and drain everything you need to drain things are done very slowly and then drain now at this point here we put my fingers my my uh, knuckles right underneath the jawline and you want to do about six of these of these and always draining to the ear now we do the lips and this one here you want to do right close to the lip line two and three and you want to do three of those one two quite a bit of pressure because we want to bring blood to the area so you push the blood out and then the blood comes back up and you do three of each Okay, at this point here, circles, one, two, three, and you want to do six of these, upwards, and then now downwards, right down to the neck, and there are six, four, five, and the last one you want to use your index and put pressure, and you do that three times. Okay, at this point, we're going to work the décolleté. So we're going to stop here and performing the décolleté in a second. So 
So we just completed the facial massage and now we're gonna work onto uh, the décolleté. One thing I must mention is that you cannot have uh, really long nails or uh, extensions and uh, no polish on your fingers and no dangly uh, jewelry. You can have a tight watch if you want, but no jewelry or rings while you're doing the massage. Uh, polish, a lot of clients are allergic to polish, so it is advisable that your nails are free from any form of polish or enamel. So let's start. Effleurage, one, two, and three. Around the shoulders, quite a bit of pressure. And you want to do three times and a little bit of tension. Three times. Now circles, one, two, three around the shoulders now kneading so that's done three times now kneading be very careful if her uh, bone is sticking out not to put any pressure on the uh, bone collarbone and around and when you come around the trapezius with your knuckles it feels really good so you do that three times now you turn around and you do circles with your thumb right underneath. So basically I'm using my thumb and I go one, two, three again. So you do wanna do that at least three to six times because this area we really need a lot of uh, uh, massaging. There's a lot of tension, especially for women. Now at this point here, you go down with your hand, full hand, all the way down and outwards. Again, one, two, three. And you wanna do that at least six times. At this point here, you get your, your, your fingers like this, and you start doing the kneading right underneath here. One, two, three. And you wanna do that six times. So basically you're, you're kneading like this. Around. Now with your thumb, you go right underneath, right in the back here of the neck, and you do three pressure points, one, two, three. Okay, so it's right underneath the back of the neck, and you do one, two, three. Let's look again, one, two, three. And at the base of the neck, right at the trapezius, a little bit of pressure, and it feels so good. Your hands are right here on the shoulders, so you go one, two, three slide in and then you do one two three upwards and a little bit of tension right at the trapezius and you do that six times when you release please release very gently you go up to the forehead and you do effleurage very slowly The other side. One, two, three, and slide. And you do that three times. Put both your hands right on the forehead and you do a zigzag. And as you're doing the zigzag, you are sliding down and drain. You do three times here. Go on to the cheek, just above the cheekbone. You do three times, very, very slowly, and you drain the lymph. Three times here, three times below the zygomatic bone, and drain. We go right at the jawline. If you notice, it's done very slowly and a little bit of pressure. It's not light, we do have pressure because if you have it too light, there's not gonna be any drainage. And you have to drain to the nodes. So you have to know your nodes. Now here, the neck. Of course, that node is right here. Three times, the décolleté, up and down, zigzag, quite a bit of pressure here. 
We have a node right underneath the armpit, so please know your anatomy. And then around. Pressure behind the neck. Pressure point right here. We work ourselves up. Now with your ring finger and your middle finger, very, very slowly. You do approximately nine circles, but it's done very slowly. Pressure, here, right here. And then I press the whole scalp. And you stay like this approximately, I would say 12 to 15 seconds. You gently release. And with your right hand if you're right-handed or left hand if you're left-handed, you go on the, on the third eye and it's done very, very slowly. Again, nine to 10 circles. You slide to the towel, release, position your fingers exactly the same as your other hand, and again, you press. You press the scalp, and you stay there for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. Now when you release, please release very gently. And you end with a very, very feathery-like tap moment. Shake all the energy away, and the decolleté is done.